Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nuking, and today we're driving down to Smith Mountain Lake for the week we rented a house, so let's get to it. Well, we made it. We put the boat in the water, and we have a few hours to go fishing, so let's see what we can catch. I have Crelex on 7 weight, but I also have a Popper on the 5 weight. I've seen a lot of like topwater explosions near where we're fishing, and bass coming up and eating a little bluegill or shad. So let's see if maybe we can catch a few on the Popper. That's a big bag. Smallmouth of the trip, he really exploded on that popper like a smallmouth usually does. kayaks out, we're gonna go catch some panfish. Uh, 
nice little bank comes out, nice big shoal. See if there's any pants fish. There's one. I have a little light mic light micro streamer on. There's one. As soon as it hits the water, they're on top of it, trying to eat it. No panfish. There's one. As soon as it hits the water. Mongo's coming to check out the fish. How you doing, buddy? What are you doing, Pongo? Who came out to check out the fish? Hey. How you doing? You go find Mom. So I was doing well with the popper, but I also found another pattern, fishing the main lake points and the main lake shoals. I was using my 7 weight with a full sinking line and a fly I've been developing for a while now, the polarizer. The polarizer has some insane action. The chartreuse fly you're seeing right now is the jerk version. It has a great side to side shift and a beautiful tail kick. This one is the bulkhead version which I used in tandem with a little snap I made with a 4mm tungsten bead inspired by Hairline's Instajig 2.0. With the little snap, it gave the polarizer an amazing jig action, but it also darted back and forth nicely. Most importantly, with the 4mm bead and a full sinking line, I was able to fish the sweet spot of the drop-offs from around 10 to 15 feet deep, which is pretty deep for a fly rod. Into a carp 
68 a uh, little pheasant rump crawfish he was digging around in the mud and I put it right in front of his face and finally he ate it Oh, my hands cramped. Okay. I had a great trip. I caught a bunch of cool fish, and I learned a lot as well. I'm becoming better at reading the offshore structure, and I caught some of my biggest bass covering the shoals and humps this trip. I'll continue to develop the polarizer, and I'll make some fly tying videos sometime. I know I haven't been doing as much trout stuff lately, but I've been loving the warm water bass and carp. But once the water temperatures go back down in the fall and winter, I'll be doing a lot more trout. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing for more fly fishing and fly tying content.